The other thing that I want us to ponder here is, how could it be that we gained independence in 1994 from white people who despised us, from white people who hated us, from white people who thought of us as less than human, from white people who thought that all that defined us was our sexual permissiveness. Now, how do we then the following day turn to the same white people and say, please educate our children? Yesterday they despised us, today they educate our children. It cannot be. It cannot be. But here are even larger consequences, you know, of this continued colonial education through white schools. It is that because we have a, a situation or we have an education that remains colonial, when our black children have gone to these white schools, at the end of their education from you know, primary right up to university, is that they end up alienated from themselves. They end up, you know, the education system basically alienates them from themselves. Because at the end of that trajectory from you know, these you know, white schools to white universities, black people or black you know, children all of a sudden despise their culture. They begin to speak ill of their cultures. That is why we've had very nonsensical, you know, and foolish discussions in South Africa. Spent even millions of friends airing these discussions on TV about Lobola. It is because it is precisely the con that debate emanates from these people who've gone through these institutions who at the end of their education begin to despise their languages, begin to despise their cultures, begin to speak ill of the cultures of their own people. They begin to think that cultures of their own grandmothers and grandfathers, cultures of their mothers and fathers, cultures of their great grandfathers, who for centuries lived guided by these cultures, who for centuries ensured that it is possible for them today to exist. Because they've just gone through white schools, they now think of themselves as being possessed of a superior white logic such that they can decree the cultures of their people, you know, who for centuries lived guided by them as being barbaric, as being backward. Now they begin to speak exactly the same way in which white people speak about these cultures. Now we have an education that alienates us from, you know, our languages. We have an education system that alienates us from our cultures. But you also have an education system that alienates us from our people. It is therefore not surprising that the souls of our people today, the souls of black people today are empty. We, we are a people whose souls are famished. We are a people whose sense of being is a void, basically. We live in a cultural void. We, 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 we are a people who culturally live in a void. We, we do not have, you know, um, cultural anchors with which to guide our lives. Because, remember that language is not just a means of communication. Language is what enables you to delve or to immerse yourself in the cultures of your own people. You cannot transmit your culture from, your, from yourself as an adult person to your child through English. Because language carries your emotions. Language is what you use in order to transmit a structure of feeling to the next generation. Now, English carries white people's structure of feeling. So when you teach people English, English you teach them to feel and exclaim in a culture that is not their own. I teach in this university. Often, I meet first-year students who think that they've had good education because they went to white schools and they say they passed, they did well in these white schools. But they are surprised that white students do better than them. And I tell them that the simple reason why white students do better than you is because white people learn in their mother tongue. White people have a cultural resource that they can fall back to that you do not have. Because they learn in their own language and in the university we teach them in their own language, for them they are able to process things even to a deeper level than you. They take them to their cultural content 
or to their cultural context. For you, it ends at a superficial level. You cannot translate these things into your culture because you are already debased from your culture. You know, you do not have those cultural resources. So it cannot then be that when we've taken people through this education, we say that, you know, they've had good education because what do children learn at school? They do not only learn the technical vocabulary, you know, of their subject. They do not learn the technical contents, you know. They do not just learn mathematics. They do not just learn history. They do not just learn physics. But they also learn how to behave. They also learn how to think. But they also sharpen their creative faculties. So, it is not surprising that South Africa is a country that supposedly is independent. But just as when it becomes independent, we are seeing fewer and fewer creative works that are written in our own languages. Now, you have to think hard. What is the most recent novel in Zulu that excites you? What is the most recent novel in Iskosa, in Sitsonga, or Chivenda that excites you? These things are hard to come by in our own country. How could it be? Would you be able to go to Japan and, you know, find Japanese people who are not able to speak Japanese? Would you be able to go to China and find Chinese people who are not able to speak their language? Would you be able to go to India and find Indians that are not able to speak, you know, their, their languages? What is wrong with us, you know, as black people? What is wrong is a colonial education system that denies us all of these possibilities for us to be creative. So we live in a country whose ideological universe and at the center of this ideological universe is the education system, an ideological universe that turns us away from ourselves, an ideological universe that turns us from our own selves, that turns us away from our own people, that turns us away from our own cultures, that turns us away from our own languages. And the result of that is self-hate. Black people hate themselves in South Africa today.